Dirty planet, clean it up with orbits. Get it? Orbits. So is Pluto a planet now? If you didn't hear, because you live under a rock, some people are saying this week that Pluto is a planet again. That is, people on the internet. This sparks from a debate that happened at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Say that 10 times fast. Actually, don't, because you need to Watch my video. So it's not actually science, but the internet doesn't care about that. See, this is what I've never really understood about internet debates, you know, highly controversial stuff. The existence of God, global warming, the moon landing. People speak as if though they have all the answers and everyone's got a link that they can share that proves their point. We speak with such passion to each other as if we know everything. You would think that us as humans, knowing that we know very little, would be a little bit more understanding to each other. This is like arguing about a movie that you've never even seen. Transformers is the best movie. Movie. No, it's not. Transformers sucks. Have you even seen it? No. Have you? No, but I heard it's really bad. But we can't be understanding to each other. That would take empathy. I just don't understand how we can speak with such conviction when the world doesn't even know what Pluto is. Is it a planet? Is it not a planet? Is it a dog? It's confusing. And speaking of confusing things about Pluto, I never understood why Pluto is a dog and he acts like a dog. Goofy, he's also a dog, but he acts like a really dumb human. I mean, Goofy even takes Pluto for walks. Is there a dumb version and a smart version of every animal in the Disney universe? Does Mickey set traps for his unwanted relatives? Does Donald eat? Duck? <gasps> Is that why he's wearing that sailor's outfit? He hunts ducks? This changes everything. And it is amazing how quickly our entire world can change. Everything changes all the time. I mean, when I was a kid, I believed that my very excellent mother just served us Neptune pie. If Pluto isn't a planet, then what did she serve? I mean, you can't think of a food that starts with an N. It's impossible, try. And if you do, comment below and share this video. I don't care if Pluto is a planet, it doesn't affect me in the least, but apparently a lot of people on the internet do. Why? Who knows? I guess you want me to present some theories. Okay, maybe it's a nostalgia thing. Maybe for the same reason we don't want to believe that Donald Duck is a cannibal, even though clearly he must be, we can't comprehend that our teacher may have not known every single thing. Maybe they believe that if they learn something new, it'll remind them that they don't actually know everything, and it'll discredit every internet debate that they've ever had in their whole life. Or maybe, despite the fact that they're talking about this infinite universe that is impossible to comprehend, they can't wrap their heads around the the simple fact that they aren't the center of it. People took a vote on whether Pluto was a planet or not. Somehow we have in our brains that just because we can get a bunch of people to agree with us on something, that somehow makes it fact. You can't control reality just because you get a bunch of people to tell you that's reality. Oh, well, what I'm doing isn't wrong because a bunch of people that I surround myself with tell me that it's not wrong, so I'm okay. In the 14th century, Philip Melanchthon, if that's how you pronounce your name, write in if it's not, and a bunch of other people refused to accept this idea presented by Copernicus that the Earth may not be the center of the universe. He said this idea was absurd, indecent, and harmful because he said that it would contradict what the Bible taught. In the early 20th century, the scientific community refused to accept the theories presented by J. Harlan Bretz when he suggested that the channeled scablands may have been created by a gigantic flood because, oh no, that might suggest that the biblical flood may be true. And it makes me wonder, how many scientific advances are we not making because we're too attached and too in love with an idea that we were taught rather than being in love with truth. We can't be so close-minded to think that science creates reality. It doesn't make any sense. It's just the observation of truth, which exists whether you accept it or not. Thanks so much for watching this video, as I say every week, because I am equally as grateful every week for you watching my video. Thank you so much also to Matthew Bird. Who's Matthew Bird? He was nice enough to give to the Patreon campaign that I'm running. What's Patreon? Well, Patreon is a way you guys can support me and my videos. Patreon.com slash kev. You can find out how you can support and what rewards you'll get to keep this show going. Thanks so much for watching. I would love to know your scientific thoughts. Leave them in the comments below and I will see you guys later. I'm gonna do jumping jacks now. Good night.